And with new developments on a deadly River North stabbing. We're learning about a suburban CEO being the victim here. Police say Mike Beadle was the founder and CEO of a software company. Megan Hickey spoke with a young man he mentored. She's live on state and Hubbard with the update. Megan. Tanya Terrell, he was a successful CEO, the loving father of six, and a pioneer in the software tech industry. Today, his friends and family are just trying to piece together what happened. For most people walking down Hubbard, it's business as usual. But for Juan Saldana... It's actually a little tough walking down the street right now. There's this particular area, yeah. It's the spot where his mentor, Mike Beadle, lost his life early Friday morning, staggering out of the nearby alley at State and Hubbard with a fatal stab wound to the neck. It's very jarring that something like this happened to such a wonderful person. Saldana says Beatles' friends and family still have many questions about how and why it happened. Beatle taught monthly classes in this area on the software technology that he pioneered. Chicago police tell me they believe the suspect was a homeless person who may have been trying to rob Beatle as he cut through this alley. It, it breaks my heart, really does. Saldana told me Beatle leaves behind six beautiful kids and a fiance. And beyond that, he left an impact on the world, pioneering a method of managing software projects that's used around the globe. Yeah, we lost someone that was so big hearted and, and really changed the way people work. It's really his work is tremendous. And I, I think that the community, global community uh, all over the world is, is really mourning his loss. Beetle was the CEO and founder of Enterprise Scrum. Scrum Inc.'s chairman released a statement saying in part, the Scrum and Agile community lost a giant this weekend. Mike Beetle was a close friend and inspiration to many of us. Our thoughts are with his family. While the shock is hard to overcome, Saldana says Beetle's friends and family will take some comfort when the suspect is finally caught. I hope that whoever did the senseless act uh, it comes to justice. Or and Chicago police are strongly encouraging anyone with information to come forward, and they can do so anonymously through their website.